Good morning, Grizzlies. Today is Wednesday, November 16th. Here's a fun turkey fact for you today. Did you know wild turkeys sleep in trees? Pretty wild, isn't it? And now for an interview with Dr. Miller. Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm here with Dr. Miller today. We're going to do an interview. So, what do you do here? What do I do here? Well, I am Dr. Sean Miller. I'm the principal here at Glen High School. I am the guy that comes on the announcements every morning and says, good morning, Grizzlies, or good morning, Glen High School. Uh, this is Dr. Miller, and it's time for the announcements. But in addition to, to that, I also supervise the assistant principals and the associate principal. I work closely to um, help maintain and focus on what our culture uh, should be for the campus, yeah. um, how we improve that, how we take care of our kids, how we can take care of our teachers. And so before you became a principal, were you a teacher? Did you teach? I was. I was a teacher. I started my career as a special ed teacher in San Marcos. Okay. And I never really thought that I wanted to be a principal because right. as a teacher, especially as a young teacher, I was like, ah, the principal doesn't know anything. There's nothing he can tell me. I know what's best for my kids. Right. You know, I kind of had that, that mindset. Mm -hmm. But as I taught for a while and really learned more about how schools run, I realized that, that, that I wanted to pursue that type of position. My first assistant principal job was an elementary assistant principal gig. And uh, I thought, you know, it's little kids. Right. That's, that's going to be easy. I mean, how hard can it be? They're little. Well, it was really challenging. I realized, quickly realized that I needed to get back to secondary, to middle school, to high school. Mm -hmm. I was a high school assistant principal um, for about four years. And then after that, I became a junior high principal for about five years. Mm -hmm. And then the summer of 2020, uh, the opportunity to come lead at Glenn um, was made available. And so I decided to do that. We touched on uh, culture earlier, mm -hmm. but how do you think we should rebuild the culture here? Because we have a culture, mm -hmm. but I feel like Coming back from COVID, that's not really the same. So how do you think something like Grispit kind of helped and how do you think we can also keep building it moving forward? I think a huge thing will be just really highlighting the different student organizations and clubs that we have on campus because we have a variety of things. I think we have a little bit of something for everyone. Well, but sure. making sure that all of our students know what those opportunities are and making sure that our club sponsors um, or you have the opportunity either through GNN or through our weekly update that we send out to students and parents every, every week. I think a lot about just understanding what the interests are of our students mm -hmm. and making sure that kids know that there are, we have a, a variety of clubs, yeah. organizations, extracurricular activities. I think our coaches and our directors do a really good job of trying to pull kids in sure. and keep kids in programs, mm -hmm. you know, because I think that you feel connected to a place when you belong to something. Uh, what do you think we, like, as a school, like, together all together like what can we work on to like make Glenn a better place for everyone one of the things uh, you mentioned earlier I think um, school spirit mm -hmm. you know getting back to some of those things that we that we used to do but not only the things that we used to do really building on some new traditions you know because Glenn is still a relatively young campus I mean this is just our seventh yeah. year and so there's some great things that we've done in the past and bringing back those things but really leveraging our student body to talk about what are some new things that we can do mm -hmm. what are some things that we can do to be more inclusive of all of our students one of the things that I'm, I'm starting this year is a, a principal advisory council we want kids from all different types of groups so that we could get some different opinions and so I'll be meeting with them on a monthly basis to talk about things that we can do differently but definitely school spirit and, and, and culture but a huge part of our culture in addition to being school spirit has to be academic excellence yeah you know and that's a little tricky for sometimes you know because we want to do well in athletics we want to do well in fine arts we want to do well in all of our organizations but we also want to be you know we want to do well in our ac academic areas mm -hmm. in, our, in, in math in science, in social studies, you know, we want, you know, more national merit scholars. You know, we want Glenn to be known for that as well. Yeah. Because we have some really talented, very intelligent kids here sure. who are highly capable. And I think we want to be able to highlight that. Do you think there's a way, like, we can improve as a school, like, focus on students' mental health? Well, well we have a counseling department, and then we have some additional support staff who also have a focus on students' mental health. Do you think there's a way to get, like, a full, like therapist on campus one day. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a possibility for that in the future for students who like can't afford to go to like a real therapist outside of school? Well, actually there are there are support services within the district mm -hmm. and uh, if you and and that's something that as, as I mentioned we have our counseling department right, but we also right. have another staff member who is able to um, help students and parents connect with outside resources mm -hmm. that in some cases are either free or they're at least um, less expensive right. or they're on a sliding scale based on what a student or a parent is able to pay for. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely that resource here now. I think as a district, um, one thing that we, and not just as a district, I think across 
schools across the country. Coming back from COVID, I think we realized that um, our students and, and sometimes even our staff mm -hmm. have struggled, you know, um, with just social and emotional challenges, yeah. you know, and, and mental health. You know, and I think sometimes people shy away from discussing mental health, you know, and things like anxiety and depression because it makes people sometimes feel uh, weak or, um, not, you know, not as strong. Or right. There's like a stigmatism that goes along with that. And they're like, oh, I don't want to be seen as that person who doesn't have it all together. But lots of people, you know, are dealing with different challenges. That's and so right. I think as uh, school officials and school leaders, we've recognized that a lot of our students and, uh, and, and staff need that additional support. Yeah. And so I, to, to answer your question, uh, finally, um, I think that we're working in that direction to get more um, mental health support on our campuses on a consistent basis. I think that is it overall. Do you have anything you want to say to students over there? You just let okay. them know, let them hear it. I, actually, I do. Um, first of all, like I said, I want to thank you all for the opportunity to have this interview, but I want to make sure that every student and every staff member in this building knows how proud I am to be the principal of this campus and how much pride I take in walking in this building every day and knowing that I get to do this job and knowing that some small part that I play in either hiring a teacher or making a, bringing a program to this campus or supporting what happens here or, or really just being able to listen and hear the needs of our students how important that is to me. And so again, thank you all for this opportunity and thank you all for all you do to make Glenn uh, the amazing place that it is. I appreciate it. And I'm very, very proud to be here. Boys and girls soccer tryouts will be after school on November 28th, 29th and 30th. Students must have a physical turned in to the trainers to try out. And as Danny Rojas always says, football is life. Come and join the Black Student Union. This is an opportunity for students' growth through diversity, outreach to communities, academics, lifestyle, and history. Everyone is welcome, so come join us at our first meeting after school on Thursday, November 29th, after Thanksgiving break. Thursday, 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 eSports, eSports, eSports. Do you like to own noobs? Are you interested in playing on a Glenn eSports team? Then come to Room 2417 on Thursday, November 17th at 3.45 p.m. for an information meeting. There is a mandatory parent meeting for all students interested in joining the Mighty Grizzly track team. The meeting is in the Union on Wednesday, December 14th at 6 p.m. If you have questions, talk to one of the coaches. Thanks for watching, and remember, it's a great day to be a Grizzly.